What is an elevator company doing working with solar impulse? Nat, I think you're looking at this a bit too simplistically. What do you mean? For starters, they both transport people. Schindler actually moves one billion people around a day. And second of all, they both have to be very energy efficient. In Solar Impulse 2, the electricity produced by the solar cells has to be used as efficiently as possible to drive the plane's motors. And the same requirements actually apply to elevators motors, which is why Schindler has equipped its elevators with permanent gearless magnet motors to lift people to their destinations. This technology allows them to be 60% more efficient than hydraulic systems. I heard there's a Schindler engineer at the Mission Control Center. My name is Martin Pfister. I'm 35 years old and I'm with Solar Impulse for three and a half years now, a bit more. And um, I'm one of the engineers of Schindler which work with the Solar Impulse project. But what does Martin actually do for Solar Impulse? Well, I came in the end of 2012 and uh, I started with testing motors and MPPTs, so more the, the, the real power things and uh, it, it's really one of the really nice parts of Solar Impulse is your, your job changes with time because uh, the problems change and so uh, my topics they changed sometimes from week to week, sometimes from month to month. One of my main contributions was a program to extract and interpret the locks of the, of the aircraft. So this was very helpful for development and also now for the, uh, for the mission team to, to get the data which is collected in the airplane and so we can export it to a nice Excel file, for example. Well, I mean, we only managed to build Solar Impulse by combining expertise from a lot of different areas. Exactly. And in the case of Schindler, they not only helped us with the efficiency of Solar Impulse 2, but also with the flexibility in case of emergency situations. For instance, if one of the plane's motors fails, the power can be redistributed amongst the remaining engines to keep the plane in balance and maintain it in the air. This technique has actually been used on the ground, allowing elevators to send surplus energy to the building's power grid. This reduces 30 to 55 percent of annual utility bills. Solar Impulse is a very unique project and I'm really proud to represent Schindler in this project and I'm really happy to be here and to share these moments with, with the people I was working with the last two years and um, yeah, it's, it's it's really an honor to be here. Wait, Nat, you don't know the best part yet. Schindler actually has a solar elevator on the market. Wait, 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 you have to tell me about it. 